saying that you are given an integer array called as nums okay it is sorted in the non decreasing order which means increasing but the elements can be same also okay we have to return an array of square of these numbers again sorted in the non decreasing order which means the increasing order now you can see that you have given the array nums and it is sorted in the non decreasing order you have to return the answer of the square of these values you can see square of these values square of these values and that too should also be sorted in the non decreasing order so one very obvious way which you must have or short surely have thought of is that you will have this array nums you will just square these values just square these values and just simply sort these values and you will get the answer voila o of n log n time for sorting o of n time for just doing a square then o of n log n for sorting and thus your total time complexity will be o of n log n space will be o of log n for java and c++ and for o of n for python it is the sorting complexity internally sorting will take some space that space is nothing but this okay but for sure ah uh, you will have to have to improve it now what you will think of in improving again there is a there is the there are many cases in which the people are not able to think of when and how to use two pointers how to use we have taught previously also a lot of times when also we have taught but here let's see that at what all locations you can use two pointers because yesterday's question was also a two pointer question and this also is speaking out loud i am a two pointer how it is speaking out loud let's see so you were given this specific array now whenever whenever anything is sorted or maybe i'm not saying entirely sorted i am just saying whenever anything is sorted or it gives you a feel of increasing or decreasing in this in this i am saying again here the uh, here the values are like this it is increasing okay and now i am saying if the value would have been decreasing or the value would have been like this okay decreasing and decreasing then when some pattern i can find out either it is increasing decreasing which means which means some two points some two points can give me a specific specific value then i can use two pointers now when i what i mean by specific value i mean that okay if i have these two points if i start off from these two points these two points can directly indicate me then bro okay these are these are something okay it is large it is small it is giving me a specific significance about those two points if i had said okay let's start off with these the these two points then i can just say okay as i keep on going keep on going keep on going i will actually have a significance of these two points as these two points are the largest candidate of points so if i choose any one of them i will place them as the largest point right and okay next i can move on next okay let's say if he was the largest then i can move on a bit down okay now you can see that he is the largest so i can place him here so the extreme two points can give me some significance about their location then i can use and and how and when they can give when they are actually following a pattern when they are actually following a pattern thus we can use two pointers now this is one very generic way of using two pointers i mean you will use two pointers a lot now aryan but this increasing decreasing also infers a binary search yeah true but again you have to see and understand that in what case you will apply binary search again we have told the proper intuition of binary search binary search is more of that you want to reach to a specific location and that location if you are about to reach that location that location you can just infer okay that location will be less or more so something is right 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 wrong 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 something like that okay then you know for sure i can use a binary search here to reach to that location which was the extreme last right or maybe i have something increasing increasing i want to reach to the mid then i can use binary search so in these locations you can use binary search now one another very very frequently asked way in which two pointers will be used is that you are just given two or three kind of values in a array or a string or a vector what i mean by two or three kind of values which means let's say you are given an array of zeros ones so you can see it's an array or basically a string of zeros and ones then you have to separate out these elements let's say if you are given array of three values zero ones and twos then you have to separate out which means let's say you have to bring in all the zeros to the end all the ones to the right and all the twos should be in the middle then in these two cases again it is kind of following a pattern that 
I have two values only and I know okay in this portion of the right I can just put in this value which is one let's say and in this portion of the left I can put in the other value which is zero let's say so I know as I am moving in as I'm moving in I will make sure the pointer always points to a location which is either a one or a zero for this case so in that case also you will use two pointers so now you know that when all to think of two pointer itself uh, imagine you have an array and you have some sort of a pattern and the pattern is mostly either the array itself the array pattern itself is increasing decreasing or basically in a v shape um okay and uh, and you have just two values or three values which you have to deal with right okay so how we use two pointers here simply again two pointers left and right we will simply keep on again there are a different applications of two pointers also like slight on that okay you have to reach to some specific mid value let's say if the again let's say if the array is sorted and then you have and if i ask you to find the median all that cases also again but the pattern is mostly same that the array will be sorted or array will be decreasing increasing or maybe both in that cases when you are for sure it is following a pattern then you can for sure try to think of two pointers now in this how we use that okay we have a left we have a right i want one thing i want to make it a I want to make it again these values are as I mentioned in the as I mentioned previously so if I imagine these values it will look like okay it is actually are it is actually increasing but for me it is not increasing actually how are in why you why you are saying that because I will take the square of these values so a square of very large negative value can be very positive so square of minus 4 can be 16 which is very high number and square of minus 1 is 1 so although minus 4 is less than minus 1 but the square is very high so for me i have to make a graph or i have to think of in a graph of their square values which is ultimately what i'm concerned about so if i had a minus 4 minus 1 0 3 and 10 i knew it was actually an increasing values that's okay that's completely sure but I have to take a square so okay 4 square is 16 let's say 16 um minus 1 square uh, my, my, uh, minus 1 square is 1 uh his hero square is 0 3 square is 9 and 10 square is 100 so this is how my graph will be made and now i uh, now my left is here and right is here this is my left this is my right so what will happen is simply i have to build the array which is sorted so i will just make sure that i will always keep on keep on getting the maximum value so here i am at right i know that left is less than right okay take the right one value so i'll take 100 here i know this i know again i, I know this is 100 i know this is 16 i know this is 1 i know this is 0 i know this is 9 so again now my right will go on to the it will just shift it will just shift one pointer left okay now my right is here now i'll compare this left and right okay you can see my left is more okay i'll place in my left here i'll place in my left here okay left is placed 16 again move your left move your left now left and right again right is more okay move your right again left and right um okay for sure my left is more okay move your left then uh, left and right okay both are same so i can have it as zero and for sure left will move ahead you can see i can simply stop here itself thus this is my final sorted array now if i just show you very quickly uh, the exact same thing which we did that uh, i move my left and right now because of my left being more again i have to compare the absolute value right okay so i'll compare my absolute value of left minus four and three minus four absolute value is four and three absolute value is three it four is more so minus four square is 16 okay then i'll move my left minus one and three again three is more so three and its square is nine i'll i'll put in the square value i'll compare the absolute value but i'll put in the square value for sure square and absolute you can also compare the square values also but yeah both are same now i'll compare minus one and zero minus one is more which means one is more so i'll keep the minus one square one and then ultimately left and right is same okay you can just simply have it and then in the next step you can also pass it further which means left here uh, it depends upon how you are implemented if you are having a while loop while my left is less than equal to right then you can simply keep on going or you can also simply keep on iterating on your i from the very back and then as soon as you reach the end you will simply stop your loop so there are multiple ways to implement this also the code is pretty simple uh, it just says that firstly i have my n left and right right and then i have my answer vector which i have to return again uh for according to the interviewer if he considers that you should modify the existing array 
and you are making a new array then you can say a space of o of n but as the question itself demands a space of o of n so this will be counted in that space itself so space will be o of 1 itself again you can just tell both these things to the interviewer because it's pers because it depends from person to person how they actually interpret this kind of a space algorithm like this kind of a space complexity that uh, uh, people usually count that in your uh, like extra space but for for the people who are good in the industry the demand of the problem they don't count that in extra space because the term itself says extra space now uh, we'll go on from the very end and i'll keep on going until i reach the super zero now i will have and grab the value whosoever is maximum again maximum is absolute value so i'll compare the left pointers absolute value with the right pointers absolute value whosoever values more which means right value is more okay right value is more so your value will become right value and for sure your right pointer will shift one step backward right pointer what if the left value would have been bigger okay in else condition if left is bigger simply value will be left value and move your left pointer one step forward now you have this value please assign to the ith value so in the answer of i i'll assign my value into value because i want the square i want the square i want the square value right so i'll just assign that value square and that's going to be my answer cool because of this the time is o of n because you're just using two pointers and simply keep on moving in a straight line n and space you can say o of n you can not, you can also say it as o of 1 also both are completely fine depending upon just tell the interview that what you're thinking of as an extra space cool and that's the answer cool thing about it again it has so many questions uh, so many people so many companies so yeah please do do it very religious bye, -bye. take care